Hi, thanks for shopping the sublimation templates for the bench in Indian Zulu on Etsy or www.arkeshagraphics.com. So this will be a quick tutorial showing you how to use the plain um, large blank bench template. But you can use this information to do the small one as well because each bench comes with instructions for sizing so you can size it accordingly but you can follow these directions to if you want to split the image to get the pieces separately okay we're going to upload the large bench have it here we're just going to upload it and i'm just going to keep complex since it's going to be a printing cut i'm going to keep it on that setting and I'm going to apply and I'm going to click print and cut and then I'm going to upload. Now this will upload um, to the to design space real large. No need to worry. What we're going to do is um, just before we do anything, we're just going to size it down. And it's okay because you're going to you have the measurements to get the correct size you need. So we're just going to size it down. And then we're going how we're going to separate we're going to grab a shape from the shape panel you can do it whatever way you know best and i'm going to unlock it up here at the top so i can control how i shape it or how big i need it and how how wide and how tall i need it and i'm going to angle this box because we need to get in here i can't draw it i can't put the box straight over this section because these this part comes down further than the tip of these um, chair legs. So I'm just going to draw it until it goes over that leg and I'm going to draw it out a little bit so I won't have to grab another shape to do the other side, the leg on the other side. So after you have it covered all the way you want to select both of these and hit slice. And while that is like that, I'm going to take and just drag that box over, turn it the opposite direction, cover that other leg, select these two, and hit slice. Now the legs are separated. And we're just going to move these over here. We're going to grab another box gonna unlock it and drag it over either bottom or top it doesn't matter and then we're going to slice now all your pieces can be moved to work with but what we're going to do you're gonna size them according to the um, measurements that come along with the download of the bench whether you downloaded it from Etsy or the website. So we're not going to get into that, making it making it the size we need it. I'm just going to use the top bench to show you how to, one way you can get the, um, let's just do them at the same time. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. One way you can get your images on onto the bench. Just making it bigger so you can see what is going on. Just cut that off, cut that off, and cut that off. So we're gonna use this, and I'm just gonna upload an image that I have. Complex, continue, apply, print and cut, upload, upload an image, I'll take these, open, complex, continue, right, continue, upload. So I'm going to grab these two and bring them in.
So now, if you like this whole image and you ex you want it to be on the bench for the top and the bottom, then you just pull it until it covers. Then once it covers, you can chain you can pull it to the back so you can see this image through I mean on top of it and then you can cut on the bottom image and kind of place that eyeball it where you want to pick up what part you want to pick up if you want that that area there or a bigger part of the stairs then you just move it wherever you would like to cover and the red area is just your safe area. When you get begin to add your other elements, I'll show you how you just add them around that. You need that red area as well because that is the print bleed. You want it to cover the bench. This is that black is represents the actual size of the actual bench. The red um, represents the bleed. So your image needs to cover even the red. Like the background image needs to cover even the red. So it can, when you sublimate, it covers the whole bench. So once you get that figured out, and say you want that, then you'll just select these two here. You can first, um, duplicate that image and then just cut that one off. And then that way, if you mess up, you have the, you don't have to re-upload that image. So you just select these two slice then you'll select again that other one is back there and you should select it select that and then slice so then just click on a corner or whatever and delete that so now you can turn if you turn that off you'll see you'll have two pieces for the bench but when you turn it turn it back on so you can add your elements so we're going to bring this to the front and then you'll just piece these in here around where that red is so if you want to use two of these one on each side then you'll fit it in there in between just make sure if you have to put something in the red make sure it's not something that you just want to have on the bench because wherever red is um, inside of this area it will not show because that's where the holes on the bench are so you're going to um, duplicate that and then flip it horizontally and then just bring that over to the other side then you'll bring your photo of your loved one or the project you're working on and then you'll put your text on top so then you just cut these on like as guides same thing for the bottom piece let's bring it to the front you place all your elements and then when you're done you just turn these off Then it's the same with the legs. So you can use that same picture or you can fill them in with a color, whatever you like to do. So I'm just going to duplicate it again and turn this one off. Then you can pull this wherever you like and flip them both and oh because there's two there so I'm gonna select one leg at a time so I think you should have it covered there slice and then do this and slice so make sure you cut the
black and red part off. So now you have your image for your legs. With, when you finish building on your images here and put your pictures in, you'll make sure you attach them or flatten them to print or else when you, okay, let's just show you. When you hit make, okay, let me cut this, let me cut the legs off. Okay, let me see if I can do that now since I cut that. So when you hit make, it will move these images. So you want to make sure you either attach or flatten this. If you flatten, I don't think, if you flatten then save, I don't think you can go back and like move each image. But if you attach, you can. You can always go back and detach. It's been a long time since I use design space but this is how you can build your images using those templates while using design space but don't do like i do make sure you size it to what what the dimensions are on the paper before you start doing any of this work this was just a tutorial a run through since i'm not going to print it or anything this was a run through to show you how to use the template so make sure you do your sizing before and then do all of this and make sure you attach or flatten flatten i think is permanent here i can't remember um maybe somebody can correct in the comments but i think it's permanent once you save but attach you can undo so I hope this helps. And when you size the legs, make sure you leave them together. Just group them together and then size them by the measurements on the paper. If both the, both of them are on the paper together with the measurement. But if you just see one leg, size each leg that one size. That size of that one leg. And I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to tell you about this. I hope this helps and again thanks for shopping with us